uh, <laughs> this one was actually pretty funny. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, man, I gotta play this because because uh, I know uh, Pedro. He he. He kids me on my my beverages, <laughs> my beverages that I enjoy. So Man, when I if I told you my favorite beverages, you'd be laughing too. Okay, but uh, this beverage is 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 so delicious that it's 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 life threatening <laughs> if 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 not done correctly. Huh. All right, so I'm gonna play this clip. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. But still funny. But I'm gonna play this clip uh, about this uh, <laughs> the shooting that happened in Detroit. <laughs> All right. Is it about a drink? Uh, uh, l- let me play it. <laughs> I just cannot believe it. When I found out about this, I said, "No, absolutely not. This cannot be real. No one would ever do anything like this." But I was wrong. Kool Aid, something that's meant to be enjoyable. Summertime and fun. And oh yeah, they got like the old ass Kool Aid commercial, black and white. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen white people on a Kool Aid commercial. <laughs> you know, usually when you see a Kool Aid commercial, they got the brothers just with the wooden spoon, and they get that picture of the Kool Aid man. I'm like, where the fuck they get that picture? I want that picture. <laughs> Because, you know, when you go to somebody's house, you always get that dollar store plastic Kool-Aid pitcher. Yeah. Yeah, but they got the glass one, the nice one that you can see through, and they got the ice floating in there. Yeah. And they got lemon. You know black people don't put no damn lemon in their Kool-Aid. Yeah, the Kool-Aid. I, I've oh, never man. seen anybody black put lemons or orange slices in, no, in a Kool-Aid. No, I've never seen But anyway. Fancy. But, yeah, I just thought it was funny that this commercial actually exists because I've never seen a Kool-Aid commercial with white people in it. <laughs> All right, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon, this bright war block was full of Kool-Aid smiles. But Tuesday night, not so much. I've lived on this block over 20 years. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Some bad boys were hanging out on Lampere in front of this old abandoned school building. There were a few other fellas in front of this house across the street. And there were some verbal blows being thrown from both sides. The initial argument from my understanding began over Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh, yes, right. (laughs) 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 Yes, right. (laughs) This reporter is killing me. You know how, like, sometimes when they do the segments and they try to be personal instead of being the stiff, you know, animatronic robot or whatever? (laughs) She's trying to put a personality in it. It's just, it's killing me. But anyway. Two of the dudes from the two crews were fighting over... Why do you got a black man flipping the Kool-Aid sugar, public sugar... (laughs) I know you can't see it, but it's it's just so fucked up. Who makes the best Kool-Aid? But the tongue lashings... I I don't know if you heard that. Did you hear that? Uh, They were fighting over who makes the best Kool-Aid, right? Yeah. Over who makes the best Kool-Aid. But the tongue lashings turned into a gunfight. They started (laughs) shooting at each other. Uh, They would. They would. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, my God. It gets better, though. It gets better. Over Kool-Aid, I don't know what to say. I know, right? Can you believe this? The two young men pulled out their pistols and opened fire. But they both missed their intended target. They ended up hitting two other guys. Holy the wrist, shit. And the other took a bullet to the butt. I saw him standing. I get shot in the ass. What's so cool, man? <laughs> room. You go into the triage. Okay, he's been shot. What happened? <laughs> oh, man. I think Tyro was talking he can make some better Kool-Aid. And so, then they pull out a... <laughs> How do you even explain that? Oh, my God. oh, that's so funny. I would have loved to be in that emergency room. Where did this happen? This happened in Detroit. Detroit. We're going to have to tell Patricia about this. <laughs> Look what your people did. <laughs> Some of the kids today, I just don't get it. Some people ain't got much to live for, so the smallest arguments turn into the biggest things. The way 
People yeah. are. It doesn't take very much. You look at this, you think what? This you read. <laughs> what? They got the Kool Aid pack in their hand, <laughs> and they got the, they were recording a Kool Aid pack. <laughs> I guess, I guess guess what flavor it is. Uh, I'm guessing grape. No. Oh, you know he got that red sun, <laughs> that red Kool Aid. Uh, the fruit punch Kool Aid. See, the black people don't call it by the flavor. We call it just by the color. <laughs> Get the red Kool Aid, man. The red Kool Aid. Oh man, this is so. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous thing to fight over. Yeah. And if this is our future, it is scary. Both of the people who were shot are just kids, seventeen years old. They were both released from the hospital and doing just fine right now. Police are still looking for their shooters, though. One of them took off in a purple 2007 Chevy Impala. Fuel. Now, this is outrageous and also sad out there. We've never seen anything like this before, but what are police saying about this? <laughs> Sadly, Fuel, they say they've seen worse. And one of them told me today that he thinks it's because guns are as easy to get as Tic Tacs, and so many young people have no idea how to solve their problems other than grabbing a gun and shooting. It is a sad, sad state of affairs, my friend. Hopefully somehow somebody these kids can learn something from this big mistake. I hope so. All right, okay, thank you. Yeah, they they learned how to make that Kool Aid so they didn't get shot. That's what they learned. But nah, man, that was crazy. What do you? What, man, I, I, I kind of know what you're thinking, but what do you, what do you think about that? I, I don't know how to feel about this, man. It's, I know what you're gonna it's say. It's sad. It's funny. It's. I know what you want to say. There's only one word you can't say. It something like that. No, no. Let me tell you this. I I think it's funny because I I know I've heard of shooting is probably happening for worse. You yeah. Know, stupid arguments. Shootings like this probably happen all over the place. Yeah. And okay, uh, what was the one Jackass one show where they were just shooting shotguns at each other with a vest? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know that shit doesn't get reported. I, I think they're trying to make black people look bad. I really do. But it was black people that were reporting it. But then again, white it, people it, were it, the ones it, that owned the news company. It really is, and, <laughs> and I and I do believe that that that's stupid. It, it's a stupid argument you know, a shooting happen over it that is pretty stupid yeah. but sh- stupid shootings happening all over the place Yeah. and they report this one just because they want to make a certain group look really bad yeah. Uh, yeah I think it's so you don't think it was newsworthy to bring that out <laughs> not at all but I, <laughs> what should have been newsworthy was well the gun argument is always good right it, it's a problem too many guns on the streets yeah leads to this too yeah uh, and that's always good to point out but I'm sure there's better examples, and, <laughs> and I'm sure there's better stuff to look into. Like uh, I don't know if you know this, but the U.S. released recently a humongous cache of weapons mm-hmm. to the drug cartels in Mexico. Really? They were hoping to track them and get to them. Of course, the guns and everything like that <laughs> they got lost. Uh, so they just gave a bunch of free ammo to the cartels to the drug wars. Okay? That's crazy. This they, they got reported for like a week. And then it was done. Okay, so there's there's a, a lot more stuff that you can report on on guns. Yeah. So this should not have been news work at all. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's funny though, man. Oh, guys, oh. that was some Kool-Aid.